Beneath the surface of the turquoise seas, there lies a world of fantasy, formations of exceptional beauty, where you can feast on the intensity of the vivid colors and the diversity of the foam. Countless creatures, yellow, blue, and green, swimming in the coral reef, and coral branches of all shapes and colors. It is a magical place, beautiful beyond belief. Covering almost 340,000 square kilometers, the Great Barrier Reef of Australia is the world's largest underwater living structure. Corals are some of the most diverse ecosystems on the entire planet, home to more than 25% of marine life, providing a vast ecosystem for countless creatures, both plants and animals. The number and variety is spectacular. However, Due to human activity, particularly over the last few decades, overfishing, pollution, tourism and development, oil and gas, and of course, climate change, we have pushed their limit, disrupting these complex systems. Already large-scale mortality events, especially due to rising temperatures and ocean acidification. This doesn't just threaten all the marine habitats and species, but also our own health, way of life, and security. We are only really now waking up to how important they are for life on this planet. Marine scientists around the world are trying to save this vital ecosystem by providing the evidence of what is happening and bringing it to the public in a format that they can understand to bring about change. But time is ticking, and despite growing scientific evidence, convincing the public has proven to be a daunting and often frustrating challenge for scientists. At the same time, we're finding out that it's the more personal experiences that are really affecting people's views and bringing about this change. Because giving people access to so much data most often leaves them feeling overwhelmed and disconnected. This is where art can make a difference. Most of us, know the feeling of being moved by a work of art. Whether it's a song, a play, a poem, a novel, a painting. Art does not show people what to do, but it can connect you to your senses, your body and mind. After all, the point of art is to see and experience it. So by joining the two, artistic approaches to environmental issues are waking people up to the problems. It is a way to make the issues felt, and this felt may spur to thinking and even to action. It is clear that change is inevitable, but the magnitude of the change is not. That's why it's important to try and find your voice and make that voice heard.